Hi team, I hope you're all doing really well um, and ready for another, um, another home workout. Um, so we have um, two blocks of an E2 block space every two minutes on the two minutes. So you're going to repeat three rounds um, of block one and then rest, three rounds of block two and then rest and then there's another finisher um, to finish up. Um, so for options for weighted and non-weighted here. So if you are using the weight for your first two minutes, you're going to grab um, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, hold that weight nice and high, take it a goblet squat. So we sink down to the bottom, break the increase at the bottom, pause for a second as you get to the bottom, and then drive back up. So the important thing here is that one second pause at the bottom. That's where, because you've got two minutes to fit 30 reps in. So that's where your kind of your timing comes into it with that pause. If you're just doing 30 squats in two minutes, I imagine you can get quite a lot of recovery. If you are not using a weight here, you'll come down. Do your 30 squats, pause at the bottom, drive back up. What I want you to do then, once you've finished your 30, is 10 jump squats just to finish off the round. So if you're not using a weight, it's 10 jump squats after. Um, if you are using a weight and you're finishing really quite quickly, you feel like you've got some more in your legs, then yeah, 10 jump squats after, why not? So that's the eight minutes in one to two. In minutes two to four, your second, uh, your second one, 25 swings. So again, with a kettlebell, with a dumbbell, feet underneath the hips, push the tailbone back, brace the core, and drive up. Now again, those 25, depending on what weight you've got, you might get through that quite quickly. So do your 25, see how you feel. If you've got quite a lot of time left, I would work to 90 seconds, so you get your 30 seconds to recover at the end of those, at the end of those swings just depending on how much weight you're using. If you've got something that is a little bit heavier, a little bit more challenging for you, then it might be the 25 reps is sufficient in the two minutes. If you are not using the weight, you're gonna come into 90 seconds of mountain climbers. So using the whole 90 seconds, bring the body nice and long into play, and then run or walk the knees in towards the chest. So just to 90 seconds, take your 30 seconds of recovery. Final two minutes, minutes four to six, you're going to take 20 kneel to standing squats. So with your weight, hold it high on the chest, come down to kneeling, and bring the tops of your feet to the floor here. So when you're pushing up, you have to push through that supporting leg rather than kind of rolling through the toes. So 20 kneel to stand with your weight. And again, take your time, nice and steady, keep the chest lifted. If you're not using the weight on those kneels to stand, again, at the end of your two minutes, or at the end of your 20, add in 10 jump squats. So, minutes naught to two, goblet squat, with a one second pause at the bottom. If you're not using the weight, then 10 jump squats additional. Minutes two to four, 25 swings, depending on what weight you're using, do the 25 or maybe, you choose to go to 90 seconds. If you're not using your weight, then um, 90 seconds of mountain climbers. Finishing off minutes four to six, kneeling to standing with 10 additional jump squats if um, you're not using a weight. So that's your first block. Once you've finished all of those, you'll repeat them. Forget to tell you to repeat them, you repeat them. So you're doing all of those twice and then rest for 60 seconds before moving on to your second block of the two months. So the second part of the EG will follow the same format. We've got three more blocks of work. Again, minutes 0 to 2, 2 to 4, and 4 to 6. So in minutes 0 to 2, um, you're just going to take as many handling push-ups as you can. So coming down to the floor, body nice and long, starting your right leg, slowly lower down to the floor, release the hands at the bottom, and then aim to push your body up in one on one. So if you need to, drop to the knees, push the upper body up tall first, and then come back into that high plank. So nice and steady with your reps. You've got two minutes. Um, I will say you will be finishing around the kind of one minute 50 mark, if not one minute 45, just to give yourself 15 seconds to kind of shake off and get ready to go in your next exercise. So maximum hand release press ups. Minutes two to four, still working on the upper body. This time thinking about the back. Grab some weights. So ideally you'll have two. We're going to take the feet wide and the hips and come into a gorilla row. So the weights are coming in between the legs. The chest is proud. The spine is long and you're drawing that weight up nice and high 
towards the rib cage, aiming to keep the chest parallel to the floor. So maximum alternating gorilla rows. If you don't have weights, you're going to come into a high plank and you're just going to take maximum shoulder taps. So holding that plank and tapping the shoulders in turn, really squeezing the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling and holding that plank nice and strong. So maximum reps of that. Finally, in minutes four to six, you're going to take um, an alternating V sit up. So lying yourself down, keeping the legs long. I quite like, like to bend one leg up for a little bit more support. Take the arms nice and wide, reach up towards the opposite foot and change sides. So alternating legs and your maximum reps are those V sit ups. So minutes one to two, your hand release press ups. Minutes two to four, gorilla row or plank shoulder taps. And then minutes four to six, alternating V sit ups. So just one leg at a time. You'll then repeat um, one more block of each, rest for 60 seconds. Your finisher, once you've rested for 60 seconds, four time, so as long as it takes you, coming down to the floor, test the floor work, please, push back up, open the hips, little jump at the top. Um, 40 burpees, four time to finish off.